everybody, this is our East Coast. <laughs> hey everybody, this is our East Coast. My name is Eli. I'm Fawn. And today we have a pretty short episode for you, right? Yes. So you already started drinking, I see. Yep. Um, but today's episode we are talking about booze. <laughs> <laughs> so we are camping solo this weekend. We're incredibly sad. Because the kids are not kids here. Are with grandma and grandpa. So we can hardly contain our sadness. Yeah. <laughs> but we have some fun stuff in store. We are taking out some jet skis tomorrow with friends. Mm -hmm. And we are drinking. Drink. <laughs> anyway, we did a fun, you did a fun little thing where you took a tool bag and made it into like a portable little caddy for a bar. And it's been a lot of fun when we saw people here making cocktails and stuff. Yeah. So we're going to be making some cocktails. Yeah. We're gonna make three cocktails. But we wanna tell you a little bit more about this idea because I posted on Instagram and it was like really, really popular. Yeah. Everybody started asking questions. But listen, since we became seasonal, this little area back here has become the epicenter of all the family activities. We have had like three or four different groups of family mm -hmm. uh, here with us and then we decided to, tr to turn this little tool caddy into this little portable bartender uh, kit and it has been a great idea. I have yeah. been making cocktails for everybody. So what are we doing so today? You're making cocktails. I'm drinking them. We're gonna teach you how to make three make different fun. simple cocktails at the campground. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to be that typical guy that only drinks beer at the campground. You can refine it a little bit, make the wife a little happier. <laughs> <laughs> but before we do that, we just want to mention um, we have only a few more days left of our t-shirt sales. So if you want an RB East Coast shirt, go to um, Bonfire. Mm -hmm. um, We're gonna we'll put the link. link. Um, it ends on August 30th. So thank you so much for everyone who's ordered t-shirts. We've sold a lot. So yeah, far. I'm kind of blown away <laughs> that so many of you want to wear an RB East Coast t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> so thank you. But it's only open for a few more days, so mm -hmm. the 30th it ends and it will probably be a while until we do another t-shirt order. So, you want a t-shirt? All right, so let me tell you what I have here. This is a tool caddy, as, I, um, uh, as we told you earlier. In here, we have pretty much every form of alcohol. We could need to make any kind of cocktails. I have three different kinds of rum. Um, I have vermouth, I have gin, I have vodka. I have... Um, uh, bitters, angostura, I have a little bit of grenadine to um, uh, add color to the drinks. <laughs> of course, I have whiskey, I have bullet, bourbon, and I have, you know, good old Jack Daniels. And in the sides here, I have a little to, to, to smush fruit in the cocktails. Um, I have a little measuring um, cup for the alcohol. I have a few shot uh, glasses, a few openers, a little strainer, um, I don't know how you call this in English for for wine bottles. Um, on the side here I keep a few um, cozies for the drink and also I keep in here a few packets of whiskey sour. So um, yeah pretty much everything. Oh, also a few straws on this side um, and also this little cocktail shaker um, so you can shake your cocktails pour it into the glass the cool thing about these ones I don't know if you can see it here let me focus the cool thing about this cocktail uh, shaker is that it has a ton of different uh, drink recipes here on the side so I'm going to put links to everything um, in the description below, but I really like this one because you can use it as a glass, but also You can use it as a glass and also you can shake uh, your cup So ah, I also have this little strainer which you can use to um, drain your cocktails so Without further ado, let's make a few cocktails All right, so the first cocktail we are gonna make is called 
caipirinha. It's a cocktail from Brazil. Um, I remember uh, when I went to Brazil, I fell in love with this uh, drink because it's so refreshing, it's sweet, um, it's great. I was there actually for the World Cup. I was um, shooting a commercial and it was really amazing. Every night that Brazil was playing, um, every single town in Brazil was shut down and everybody will gather at this little bodegas, um, um, like a little convenience store outside, having caipirinha, such a great, great ambience. It was, it was really amazing. So what we are gonna use for this is rum. The original caipirinha is uh, made with um, a type of alcohol called cachaça. However, cachaça um, is, is rum. The difference is that cachaça is made with uh, um, sugar, uh, cane sugar, juice, and rum is made with melassa. So they're pretty close. This is what I have, so we're gonna make it with rum. We're gonna use limes, a little bit of sugar, and ice. That's it, it's pretty easy. So first thing you do, I'm gonna cut the lemon, the, the ends of the lemon, cut it in half, cut it in wedges, if you can, you want to get rid of this white part because it's a little bit bitter and, and we don't want that in this drink. You put, I'm going to put, yikes, one and a half um, teaspoons of sugar. You could use simple syrup, but Brazilians drink it with um, just regular sugar. Actually, I'm going to put two spoons one other half um, then you're gonna put all the uh, pieces of lime in there but you want to make sure that you put the pieces of lime with the skin down because when you put them with the skin up you don't want to um, extract too much of the bitterness from the peel that's why you want to when you smash it from the top you are gonna squeeze all the juice out Oh, isn't this looking so refreshing already? I'm not going to use all of it. So the next thing, I'm going to use my little tool. I have my little kid here next to me. Uh, and you're going to smash that lime. Oh, this is so good. And I don't know if you can see, but all that sugar and the lime are already mixing down there. This already looks so refreshing. Next, I'm going to put some ice. I have my ice right here. I could pretend I'm going to use this little thing, but reality is I'm going to use my hands. <laughs> I have clean hands. It's just a little easier. And after you have your ice, I'm going to put one and a half ounce of, uh, of rum. This jigger I have here is half and one ounce. Um, you can have you can buy different sizes so I'm gonna put one of the big one dump it in there then one of the little one if you want this to be a little bit uh, bigger or lighter you can add either soda or Sprite as you can see I'm not a very experienced bartender I also don't have one of those long spoons if I had a little bit of soda, I will add it just a little to top it up, but there you go, caipirinha. This is really awesome stuff. Let me try it. Mm, I feel like I am on vacation already. It was definitely tart because of the limes, but the sugar, you get like a little bit of the um, crystals in your, in your, in your tongue because they're not totally melted. That's why you didn't use simple syrup for this one. But it's so, so refreshing. This is amazing. Like the teacher to his kids, let's learn. Class dismissed and do it like this. Traditionally, a Moscow mule is served in, um, in a copper uh, cup. But we are at the campground. We don't have that here. So we're going to use a uh, mason jar. Uh, we're going to use ice. I have limes here. We're going to use ginger beer and vodka. So pretty easy. I have a little bit of ice here, my measuring cup with my jigger. Um, we're gonna put roughly about an ounce and a half of vodka. 
use half a lime, squeeze it in there. And the next one, I usually eyeball it, just a little bit of um, ginger beer. That's it. Put it in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of ice. And then shake it. Right. Four. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of ginger beer. If you want, you just garnish with a little bit of a uh, lime. And there you go. That's a Moscow meal. It is so, so good. Sometimes the ginger beer has a little bit of a strong flavor. If it's too much for you, you can also put a little bit of uh, club soda or maybe um, a little bit of Sprite if uh, that's too much for you. But this, this is a perfect summer drink. I'm gonna do it like this. Mm. Like the teacher to his kids, lesson learned, class dismissed, and do it like this. All right, this is the last one. We are gonna make a pineapple fizz. I have my cup here that says Nashville. Hello, Matt from Nashville. I got this one when I went to BB King's um, in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, anyways, um, I have here club soda, pineapple juice, Angostura bitters, ice, uh, and I have here uh, coconut rum, Dominican coconut rum and I have regular um, white uh, rum. I like to make this cocktail with um, gold rum, the one, the one that is brown, but I don't have uh, any right now. So let's get started. Let me clear this area a little bit. All right, in the cocktail shaker, we're gonna start. I'm gonna put about an ounce of uh, coconut rum. Again, I'm not a bartender, but something that bartenders do is that they, they pour the drinks above the cocktail you're making. That way, if you spill anything, there's not gonna be any waste of alcohol. Alcohol is, alcohol is expensive. So here I have my uh, white rum, one ounce. All right, let's add the pineapple juice. I'm gonna put maybe, I'm gonna put two ounces because this cocktail glass is a little big. And finally, we are going to put Angostura bitters. I think I'm gonna put only one dash. So there you go. Let's mix this guy. And there you go. This is ready. Let's pour it. Doesn't that look so good? And now I'm gonna top that off with a little bit of club soda. If you like it a little bit sweeter, you can use um, Sprite. And there you go, that fist, that little, um, uh, this is uh, effervescent, so you get the bubbles. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, just a little bit of grenadine, just to give it a little bit of um, color. When you put a little bit of grenadine, you're gonna see it here. You see that little color coming down? Makes the cocktail look a little prettier. And then you're gonna garnish this with a little bit of pineapple and a sherry, <laughs> but I left mine at the campground, so I have a little um, piece of orange here and a little lime, and there you go. This is a pineapple fist. All right, let's give this a try. Oh, it looks so good. If you don't have coconut rum, you can just do it with regular rum. I mean, um, uh, you get the nice tropical flavor with the with the uh, domain with. 
<laughs> with the coconut rum you're gonna feel like you're in the Dominican Republic with me and let's see this this is just right it's not that sweet you can actually put a little bit of simple syrup too or Sprite if you like it a little sweeter but yeah oh boy this is awesome Hey guys, so we hope you liked those quick recipes that Eli prepared. Mm -hmm. I know I enjoyed them. We're gonna put a link um, to the caddy and to all the accessories that you have bought. Um, mm -hmm. All the bartender tools that yeah. we use today, everything is Amazon. gonna be down here. Yep. Yeah. So we'll do that. And um, anything else? Um, if you like these cocktail recipes, let us know and I'll be happy to teach you a few more. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, I'll, I'll be willing and, and available to teach you a few more. <laughs> and remember, the t-shirts the are available until the 30th. So yep. don't wait until the end. Go get the Harvey's Cross Swag. You're going to look amazing. Um, and next week on the 31st, we have another campground review. review. Yeah, this one is going to be really awesome. Suggested by one of uh, two of, two viewers from the channel. Yep. Yeah. And we got some trips coming up. We've got two scheduled for the next couple weeks. So yeah, so good things coming. All right, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.